Oh, I remember everything. I, you, know, you don't ever forget a thing. It, we launched uh, from the Earth at night, the first time human beings have launched in a rocket at night. And, uh, you know, like, like you've heard the phrase, it's, it's as different as night and day. Day is one thing, night is something else. Uh, it was a, a tremendous, you know, people said the world lit up from without. I could even see the, the light reflecting on the atmosphere above me. And then just going to the moon, just having the responsibility. I'd flown two previous times, but this time I was commander. Uh, the mission was going to be their successor or failure based upon me, at least primarily upon me. And it meant a great deal to me to, to, to prove that, you know, when I got to the moon and made my first steps, other first steps have been made long before I got there, but it was my first step. I now proved to myself, I didn't need to prove to you or anybody else, but to me, that I was good enough to do it. Getting home, that was going to be fine. You know, I didn't worry about that until the time came. Stop, push, engine stop. Okay, Houston, the Charger has landed. We had three very challenging, tiring, we worked hard, uh, but enjoyable days on the moon. You can't, you can't not enjoy being there, and then all the time you're there, is, is the earth. Multi-colors of blue in the oceans, white snow in the clouds, that beautiful marble sitting up there. Home, you're real, that's your real world. Here on the moon, I'm in somebody else's world, some science fiction world, but it, you had to pinch yourself to say, is this really happening? You know, and you've been places like that. And yes, it, 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 yes, at this moment in time, in space, in history, I am really on the moon. Once you accept that, you get along with your business. Enjoy it. Well, you know, I know I've done something that I think is hopefully is significant in the future of uh, mankind selfishly, maybe in the future of my children and grandchildren, great grandchildren. And, and, and you know, I'm, I can't change history, you know, I, and I hope they become proud. It's children yet unborn, of, you know, in my family, someday realize why I did it, the importance. Yes, it was risky. But I didn't go to the moon not to come home. I knew I was going to come home because uh, it was I was now in control of my destiny, and uh, with a lot of help, I'll say that too. Uh, you know, from the man above. Uh, but I don't look. I don't dream. I don't live in the past. I, I'm. I've got. I, I'm too old. I got to live in the future. There's not that much left of the future, so the past is done and over with. Uh, the future is just to be decided, and I've got a lot of things I yet want to do. And unfortunately, the United States' is, uh, space program has been redesigned so that we don't have a space program. Our, our president has seen fit to, uh, to uh, 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 reinvent America's leadership in space so that uh, we don't even have a space program today. Notwithstanding, having said that, we will, human beings, together internationally, multinationally, uh, will rally all our resources together and we'll go back to the moon. There's so much to learn and so many resources yet to be exploited on the moon. And maybe better than that, we'll go on to Mars. Tell those young, young kids in first and second, fifth and eighth and tenth grade that they're the ones that are going to take us to Mars, and it will happen. And, and looking at you, it'll happen in your lifetime. Remember I said that. I won't be around, but we will. You will see humans on Mars sometime. That's the future of the space program. Uh, as soon as things change and get redirected in the United States, in my country, we will certainly be part of that. Thank you.